Hi, I'm Tara. Today I'm going to show you how to do a 3D text tutorial in Canva. So let's get started. So when you open Canva, we need to be in social media. And I am going to pick Facebook post landscape, but you can pick whatever size suits your project best. So first we're going to add a text box. You hit text and add a text box, or alternatively you can hit T on your keyboard. It will give you the same result. So I'm just going to increase the size of that. And we're going to write the letter M. So the word we're going to pick is minty, but I'm going to do it in two parts. So I'm going to do the M and then I'm going to do the INTY, the INTY. A little bit bigger. And then we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to type INTY. It'll tell you that it's uh, not a word, but don't worry about it. <laughs> So, so the font that we're going to use for this is one called Candice. So if you just C-A-N and there it is, C-N-D-I-S-C-E. And so it's kind of, um, yeah, it's kind of scripty and a bit retro looking. It's kind of nice. So we're just going to resize. So the M is slightly bigger. And the rest so what if we got 189 and the m is 282 so you can round them off if you want it's not it's not necessary for them to be exactly that and the only thing that i'm going to do with the inty is i'm just going to reduce the letter spacing so, so they all are kind of touching so if we bring it down to maybe minus 47 looks good so we're going to add a temporary background color. I'm just going to make it gray for the moment because I'm going to make the text white. So if it's white and white, then it's uh, it's a bit impossible to see. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the M and we're going to click on effects. And the first effect that we're going to do is an outline effect. Thickness 70 and we're going to make the color white. And then we're going to do the same with the INTY outline 70 and white. So you will notice that you get this little, it's it's because of the outline. So it, it throws a bit of, it's because you can't curve an outline in Canva. So you get this kind of throw out, but don't worry about it because I'll show you how to hide that at the end. So now we're going to start kind of generating a, a couple of layers. There's four layers in total in the in the text effect. So we're going to select the M and select the INTI and we're going to duplicate them. And we're just going to set it on top of it. We're going to click on effects and we're, firstly we're going to click none. So it goes back to the way it was initially. And then we're going to click on shadow and the the measurements for these are 50, we're going to have plus 45, we're going to have a blur of 25, and the transparency is okay at 40, and we're going to pick a kind of tealy colour, turquoisey colour, so it kind of has that kind of minty look about it. And then we're going to go another layer, so we're going to duplicate that one again, and we're just going to move it over the previous one and again we're going to go none and this time we're going to have a hollow so basically hollow is well it's see-through so um but we're going to make the color of the text a teal color so when you reduce the thickness so we're going to reduce the thickness right down to about five maybe even a bit more four so you get this kind of outline. I know you can still you can see where we have um, overlapped the letters, but don't worry because we're going to put another layer over this again. So we're going to duplicate once more. And again, we're just going to move that over the previous one. And this one, we're going to have no effect. And the color is going to be the teal color. So we're just going to move them slightly just so you have what looks like a kind of shine on the side of the letter. 
So you can use your arrows to do that and the same with this one. You might need to actually just do them separately because it kind of snaps to the to the next or to the the previous letter. And we'll just move that one up slightly as well. So it just has a kind of shine on it looks like it has a shine on the side of the letter. So we kind of have our, our text effect nearly done. We're just going to move these in um, slightly, the I and T Y, just so it's kind of nearer, just so they kind of touch like so. OK, and then we're going to move all of them just down slightly, just so we can put them in the middle. You can do that by position as well. You just just click the middle though. Don't don't click the center because then it'll um it'll it'll do this. <laughs> so that's not what we want. So we just want them in the center of the page. Um. So okay, and then when we when we go back to our background then and make it the same teal color, it looks really. I think it looks really good. Um. So I know I said about this little bit here so we're just going to cover that up actually so we're going to go into elements and we're going to click on shapes and we're just going to just going to cover this tiny little section up and we're going to fill it then the same color as the teal And then change the color of it to the teal and then we just need to move it to the front so go position and just move it in front of all of your text so then it's kind of hidden you can you can blow it up so um just increase the size of your actual artboard and i might just might just duplicate that actually and do this and then we'll just group the two of them together so if you had to go in and change them again um they're they're okay so then we're just going to reduce it back down and now we're just going to add some some kind of bursts to the background just to finish off the look so if we go line burst Line burst and possibly this one you don't have to go for pro the whole time I mean kind of um, most of what we've done here is is all in the free version so um, so but this this obviously is a pro a pro burst but there's lots that aren't um, like there's one there that kind of looks pretty similar actually it's nearly identical except it just has more um, but we'll go with this one and because it's a graphic we can then change the color of it to white and position it to the back so but actually when I was playing around with this the other day um, when I <laughs> when I positioned it at the front it kind of looks it nearly looks as cool because, um, you know, it's kind of nearly coming out of the words itself. So um, out of the word minty, it, it's kind of quite effective as well. So it's up to you whether you want to put it at the back or in the front. So and then I'll just show you, just duplicate that and take that off. And then the other alternative is to do a kind of sunburst again in graphics. Um, so there's one there that's it's a free version and we just do that and we're going to position it at the very back and we're going to change the color of it just to a darker teal so maybe too dark so that one so the only thing then obviously you'd have to go in and resize your little um your little squares that are covering up that that little error but so that just kind of takes a bit of time, um, but it's 
it's pretty effective as well. The last one I'll just show you is like Minty kind of suggests like cold breath, I think. So um, we could do like wind blowing. Um, so these are these are kind of cool. That maybe it's a little too this one maybe is kind of nicer. And again, change it to white. And we could reduce the transparency of it to about 70. And then just duplicate it. And position them at the back. Put them at the very back. You just, uh, if you want to select more than one, you just hold shift and move them to the position that you want. So we can duplicate them. And we might just flip them horizontally. Change the shape of some of them just so they're not all very kind of regimented. So that's pretty, it's pretty impressive as well. But I think, I think I like this one the best. <laughs> if you've learned something new today, please like and subscribe.